Yo, what's good sneakerheads and welcome back to Crew Kicks, the channel where we upload a new video every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And today, I'm excited to do this video because I've been wanting to do this for a while now and I finally gathered up my Adidas sneakers collection. Now, I will admit I have hopped on the Adidas bandwagon probably about a year or so ago. And a big influence to that was definitely Kanye, but on top of that, I really do love their Boost technology that's in a few of my shoes, which has definitely also brought me over to the dark side. As a loyal Nike customer, uh, Adidas is definitely starting to take over, and they're just coming out with dope shoes, even if it isn't a Yeezy. So basically, that's gonna be the video for today. Before we get into it, I wanna say, guys, Snubs just did a dope update. They added a few new features, so let's go ahead and check them out before we get into the Adidas collection because I am going to be adding my Adidas collection to my Snups account. Alright guys, so with Snups, there is a few updates. Um, if you go to my profile or if you go to anybody's profile, you could go to see what to see what pictures they wowed. So these are all the pictures that I clicked that wow button on. Another cool thing that they added, say like I have some shoes on my profile or I go to one of these, let's see which one we're gonna go to, should we go to this? Okay, we're gonna go to these 13s. Say I'm interested, maybe I wanna buy those or see if the guy's selling it, just go to their profile, click this button right here, this is actually my homie Sebastian. Um, click that button right there and you get an instant direct message to them. So I could write whatever I want and send it to him. I'm not gonna send it to him right now because he's gonna think I'm weird. So I thought that was really cool. And then the main new update is that they have interests. So every single interest is listed here down below. And you can see there's different types of things. Let's go to the sneaker category because that's where I would fall. And basically, you could see what's trending on Snup's dates. Uh, you could see trending items. You could see trending shelves. You could see trending members. Cool thing about this section too is actually, if I want to, I could post stuff right now. So I have no Snup's updates. So uh, let's go to my shelves and see if we could put my hats on there. There we go. And I am gonna add my Adidas collection right now so we could get that trending. So go right now and like my Adidas Snup's collection so that I can. Uh, get on the sneaker interest. Yeah, man, check it out, add me on Snups. I'm at 43,000, let's try to get to 50,000, guys. Add me ASAP. So after you guys watch this video, help me out, man. Go wow some of my Adidas sneakers in my collection. Let's go ahead and get into the sneaker collection. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the first Adidas that I did add to my collection. These are the Adidas, my Adidas Flux. So basically, my Adidas is where you can customize your own Adidas shoe and the cool thing about the My Adidas Flux is that you can put your own picture on the shoe. So that's what I did. I was trying to do something more subtle, like an everyday shoe. So I once they announced the My Adidas app and it went live in the US, I hopped on it quick. I made this print, this picture right here on Photoshop and I just tiled it all over the shoe. So what it is, is it says Dream Crew three times. On the letter D, uh, you see a picture of me and Big Sean. In the letter E, you actually see a picture of me and my cousins in Europe with my uncle who passed away so that picture definitely means a lot to me so every picture in there definitely does have a different meaning to it and I wanted to make a shoe that uh, represents me and is close to me and I think I did a pretty good job the cool thing about Adidas is they do a lot of collaborations with artists they have Pharrell they have 2 Chains, they have uh, Pusha T obviously they have Kanye West and one of my favorite collaborations that they've done is with one of my favorite artists Big Sean I've met Big Sean once and we had a talk and I told him how I'm pursuing my dream and, and he's motivated me and he's a, such a humble guy so I wanna thank Big Sean and I wanna thank Adidas for working with him and making three dope sneakers. Unfortunately, I don't have two of them. I do have the third model which is this one right here and to be honest with you guys, I don't even know the model name of this. All I know is that it is an Adidas Big Sean collaboration. A lot of people don't know what the print on here is. It's like a Hawaiian floral print and that represents Big Sean recording recording his album in Hawaii. Hall of Fame was the album that he recorded, so I believe every model that he comes out with represents a different album of his. I wore these to my show in Virginia, so they got a little muddy on the bottom, as you guys can see. My favorite part of the shoe is definitely the lion on the inside of the tongue. They threw in a dope floral bag, which is super crazy. Man, they just pay attention and they want to take care of their customers. And then another great detail on this shoe is the insoles, which I have not used. And they say, dreams stop being dreams when you turn them into goals. Next up, let's go with the Yeezy. And guys, I didn't get a chance to clean these, so bear with me. Uh, it is the Adidas uh, 
turtle dove or is that what they're called dove turtle dove that sounds like a soap i really 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 love these shoes this is comfort at its finest i wear these i beat these like like i told you guys look at those that heel drag on both shoes i didn't get a chance to crate protect these i didn't get a chance to do any of that i definitely i love these and they were my favorite till I got the black version. So I love the black, black, pirate black. So let's get into that already. If I had a dollar for every time I've worn these so far, I would probably have like $35 or something like that. This shoe was gifted to me by a very generous, very dope Dream Crew member, Bejan. Thank you again, I can't thank you enough. So those are the Yeezy 350 lows. Uh, we'll keep it into the Yeezy theme because we've got ourselves another Yeezy and this is the first Yeezy Adidas collaboration shoe. It is the Yeezy 750 boost that I pay a pretty penny for these okay <laughs> this shoe right here man is comfort it's like it's a little less comfortable than the 350 just because it is a high top and it, it holds your ankle I wear them loose so I wear them like this I wear them a little more casually the shoe itself is just a high fashion meets streetwear throw on the Kanye West logo and it's a freaking hype out of the world Oh, excuse me. Shoo. That pizza's kicking in. 750. I'm getting all these numbers. 750, 350, 950, 450, 2050. Ah, these are the easy 750 boost. I believe a black version is coming out with the gum bottom and hopefully I can get those. Not for the price I paid for these, hopefully. Next up is another My Adidas. I wasn't sure if I wanted this shoe. I tried them on at the store and I didn't like them. And then I went on My Adidas and they had some crazy options. Then I was like, I'm pulling the trigger. One shoe that I don't have in My Adidas collection that I hope to have one day is the uh, Pusha Tees. So what I decided to do since I don't have that shoe and it sells for a crazy amount is to make my own version. So I took the My Adidas Tubular and I made a Pusha T inspired colorway. Uh, super dope, it's like a sand white colorway, kind of like a Yeezy theme that the, you see on the Yeezy. It's kind of similar, not too much. The Yeezy's probably a little bit darker. This body is just suede. I don't know if you guys could see it, but when I move my fingers on there, the suede just changes color. And that's how you know it's quality, people. Another one. Um, shout out to Harris, another one. Since they are King Push inspired, I put King Kais. But unfortunately, Adidas messed up and they put Kais King. So on this shoe, it says Kais, and then on this shoe, it says King. So I'm Kais King. Probably the most hyped up running shoe of all time, thanks to the man, Mr. West. The Ultra Boost, white on white with a black bottom. He wears these all the time, and that's definitely why the reason why they always sell out and why they go for like 250 to 300 to 350 plus. I was lucky enough to walk into an Adidas store with my homie Jamie, and they had them there, so we got them for retail, which is still overpriced to me, which was 180. I feel like these should be like 130, 140. Besides the fact that they are super hyped and people call it a hype beast shoe, like I said, it's comfort, it's stylish, it looks good. My friend told me they look like grandpa shoes, which is kind of insulting, so I stopped wearing it around her, but it's all good. Last but not least, oh, actually I found something else in my closet. So, another My Adidas that I completely forgot about, it's a pair of Adidas slippers, My Adidas slippers. And as you guys can see, it's embroidered crew season on there. That's like my little slogan that I always go for. Uh, crew season, I went with the black body. The leather on here is freaking A1. It's like tumble leather too, it's freaking crazy. So shout out to Adidas. They not only make dope shoes, but they make freaking stitch sandals. And these were like 30 bucks, man. Okay, last but not least, my newest Adidas pickup. I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of you guys already know what these are. Cause I did do a whole video about them yesterday and everybody and their mom said they look like Walmart boots that were $20. But unfortunately I paid 600 and $37 for these. They are the Yeezy 950. So we got the 350, we got the 750, and now we got the 950. Now I can sit here and describe these for you, but at the end of the day, you already have your opinion on them. So comment down below what you think. The only thing I don't like is the bottom of the shoe. I wish this was a boost bottom. Now imagine, let's, let's just kind of imagine, if we put that boost bottom on there, it doesn't look right right now, but if we were to put that boost bottom on there, it would have been 10 times better. Comment on my snups and let me know what you think of these. And actually, go comment on any of my snup sneakers and let me know what you think of those sneakers. So, um, the only real, my favorite thing about this shoe is definitely the little details like the pull tab on the back, 
the toe with the three stripes adidas i personally do like it i love the direction he was going in but a lot of people are iffy about it so uh it's something that you do need to have a lot of what's the word word i'm looking for here you have to have a lot of um confidence when you're trying to pull those off because a lot of people are going to hate on it. That wraps up my Adidas collection. I'm going to try to take a thumbnail picture right now with all the shoes. Make sure you guys do hit that big thumbs up for me, man. I would really appreciate it. And you know what I would appreciate even more is if you guys hit that subscribe button. I upload a video every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday on this channel. It isn't rather a new channel, so we're just growing. We recently hit 35,000 subscribers. I think we did, or we're very close to it. So if you guys could join the family, it would mean a lot to me, and I promise you guys, I'm gonna try to give you the best sneaker content on the internet. And again, guys, make sure you do follow me on the Snups app, check out all the new features they have, and also uh, go like my pictures, I mean wow my pictures, and uh, get me featured onto the sneaker section of the app. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys on Monday, man. Thanks for watching, I'm out of here.